So we want to get you ready for today for the work week. What we have are some chances for rain and storm. So that's going to be this afternoon into the late night hours. A similar setup as we look at Wednesday and Thursday. Friday we dry out and the humidity starts to drop off. And that means we have a really fantastic weekend to look forward to. A lot of sunshine, highs near 90 with that low humidity really being a big difference maker for us. Vice President Kamala Harris will be on the campaign trail today for the first time as a 2024 presidential candidate. Amy Kuwata has the latest on the endorsements pouring in, including Governor Wes Moore's. Amy. Seen at Tim, well, results from an Associated Press survey shows Vice President Kamala Harris has already shored up the support she needs to secure the 2024 Democratic presidential nomination. The pledge support is not binding until the delegates cast their votes, which party officials say would take the place the first week of August. In a statement posted overnight on social media, the vice president said, quote, I am proud to have earned the support needed to become our party's nominee. Governor Westmore also announced yesterday he was endorsing Harris for president, just as the Maryland delegation to the DNC voted unanimously to support Harris's nomination. Reporting on your corner, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ. Amtrak is holding a public meeting on its Frederick Douglass Tunnel Project. Alexis Davila brings us more on the concerns from residents. Yes, well, the new tunnel aims to improve some train services and rides for Mark and Amtrak riders, but it's causing some controversy among neighbors here in Baltimore who say this project will destroy their neighborhoods. Now, it's a 1.4 mile long tunnel that will be intersecting on North Avenue. Amtrak says the construction near Edmondson has not started just yet, but neighbors can expect to receive notices in the next one to two weeks about construction starting soon. In May, the Reservoir Hill Association filed a civil rights complaint saying the project would bring noise pollution, solid waste and rodent problems to their neighborhoods. Amtrak says, though, the current corridor is in desperate need of renovations. There will be a meeting tomorrow night for the public so they can ask their questions to Amtrak officials. On your corner in Baltimore, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ.